All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. I'm your host, Mike, and this may look a little bit familiar, but it is indeed different, I promise. We got another uh, mini unboxing slash quick look review of another MR sharpener. This one I have been waiting to get my hands on and have uh, finally done so. Cost me uh, about the same as the caster if you've seen the previous video, about 11 to 12 euro. Uh, and it's a front look at the box. Sides. Again, I put this together so maybe your retail packaging looks a little bit different. This is just how mine came after I folded it. And the great reveal, it is the Pollux. I have been super stoked about this ever since I saw um, saw and heard about it and just had to get one for myself. The concaveness is awesome and makes me reminds me of a lot of my desktop sharpeners, but something that I can keep in a small package similar to the size of the bullet, which, quick comparison, you can actually see the Pollux is just a tad bit taller again. Just a tear. It's about the same everywhere else. Uh, Weight-wise, about the same, because it's sculpted. You know, it's not quite as beefy, I don't think. Hole looks the same, so, but you could definitely tell longer bleed. So let's sharpen a pencil with this and a pencil with this and see what we get. We'll bring our friend the plate back and our crappy field notes pencils and see if they actually want to sharpen this time. You can see it's busted again. And we'll give it a quick sharpen in real time and see if they perform, hopefully. All right, looks like we're cutting through some lead there. Nice. And again, the, the lead's a little off center on this one, so don't let it fool you too much. We'll look at this side for a, a length in comparison. This side of the, whatever <laughs> freaking lead they used for this side of the pencil is just wrecked. But that's about what you can expect. So we'll set that aside. And now for this guy, the Pollux and this broken pencil. And again, we'll take our time sharpening this guy here. Definitely cuts more of a ribbon, which you can see there. That's really nice. I mean, it's putting the same amount of pressure as I did on the previous one. These do not have stops, so you do have to uh, take your time and inspect the pencil. We'll go for one or a quick little turn here. That's pretty good. All right, so this is the Pollux. And this is the bullet. We'll try and line them up here. That's about there. All right. And you can see the difference in points there. That's pretty, pretty awesome, huh? And then you can see the Pollux has that nice concave uh, point to it, which is just really, really nice. And uh, for something that's, you know, a a pocketable sharpener that you could take on the go and still produces a nice long point like that is pretty awesome in my opinion. Um, but yeah, there it is. I won't go into too much, too much detail, but just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Does a good job uh, for the price. Not too shabby. If you can find them, they're a little bit hard to find right now. Um, but you know, if you could track one down, if it's something you're into, I would recommend it. Uh, if you already have the bullet and you're happy with it, I mean, it's not like gonna change your life or revolutionize or anything but I just like the concave point so for me this will be my new you know leaving it in my bag kind of carrying around with me and sharpening when I'm away from my desk and this will kind of be a backup I guess or you know leaving it around on a desk or something like that so I always have something around but yep just a quick look at the caster it is a really really cool sharpener I will be putting this through a ton of paces in the uh, upcoming days and weeks and if you guys are curious on a follow-up video just let me know but for now I'm going to go sharpen some pencils. Have a great afternoon. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. I would really appreciate it if you like, share, and subscribe so we can grow this channel together. And until next time, take it easy.